Does that indicate anything about your potential? Uh, nah, I'm doing, like, through everything, I'm just playing the play in the whole game no matter what. Try to get my best effort, I'm still deciding what I'll do for the future and everything like that. But most likely, I will play the whole game. Does it, I don't know, I guess with things getting closer to it, I guess the decision made, do you think it's like different for you in terms of preparation or your mindset? Oh, no, nothing's been different. I'm just still preparing, make my decisions, talking to people close to me, talking to those around me to have more information than me, and trying to get the best, know what the best situation for me is. You guys going to set up another war room with your family? And have <laughs> I don't know, like, my mom's already started. <laughs> like, I'm going to go home for a little bit. She's already started, you know, setting up things, doing little folders, little papers. It's not going to be as crazy as before. It's going to be little folders, little pamphlets, everything like that. Coach Norvell said uh, he's going to give you feedback. I know based off what you guys think is best for y'all, not obviously what might be best for him. So what's that mean? That he's kind of looking out for your best interest? That's something that Coach Norvell's always done. Like, even in the portal, he told me, I don't like, some days we're going to have good days, some days we're going to have bad days. I'm going to give you my best every day. I'm going to do what's best for you. you. You might hate me because of it, but I'm going to do what's best for you. So I'm not surprised when he said that, and I love him for saying that. What factors are you going to be considering just as you weigh this decision? There's a lot going into it, you know. The play time's never been an issue for me, thank God. <laughs> but, you know, like injury risk, you know, what could happen, the chance I fall, the chance I could increase, the chance of everything like that. So it's just a lot of decisions. I think you've always had confidence. You moved out here to get some more exposure. Like, did, you, did you think even like in your wildest dreams that you could do enough in one year to have your name kind of be called as a I definitely did know that even you know coming out of high school not being a high pick, I said I'm gonna be a first rounder. You know, no matter what. <laughs> that's, that's my goal, I'm gonna put myself in that position. So I always worked hard and you know, seeing my hard work finally pay off, seeing other people notice it's, it's a good thing. Obviously you didn't grow up around the rivalry, but what did that win against you as a media? It definitely meant a lot because you know, during the whole week I, I didn't know a lot about it, but everybody knows the photo for the state rivalry, everyone knows like you know the big rivalries in the country. Just don't, like this week they playing all the rivalries, all the Trash talk seems like my kind of space. Everybody's talking crazy to each other. Everybody's yelling at each other. It just meant a lot, a lot to not only be a part of it, but to be a big factor and play my position, play my part, and get to win with my teammates. What do you think of the environment inside those? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Especially after we beat them, everybody stormed the field. I see random students. Everybody put their phone in my face. Everybody screaming. The gator head gets thrown around. It was, it was an amazing experience. I love you. I know after the win, you and Trey talked about kind of you might discuss kind of the decision with, with teammates. How much do you expect? I mean, there are a lot of guys kind of with decisions to make, the kind of conversations between those guys. Uh, it's definitely, I want to talk to guys that have left, guys that, you know, have no choice, you know, the older seniors that are going to leave, and definitely guys that are put in the same position as me where they could leave, where they could come back. I want to get everyone's input, what they would do in my situation, but also like what they do with their situation, what was their decision, what was their deciding factors too. Jacksonville, Tampa, they're saying bowl game, Charlotte, San Diego. Like, do you have a preference? Do you want to go out of state? Or, like, what do you think about these bowls that are being done? So if we're in state, you know, a lot of Florida State fans are going to be there, but. Like through playing this whole year, I've learned Florida State fans are gonna come no matter where we go. So it doesn't really matter to me. I did have to choose one, you know, West Coast, Best Coast. <laughs> I, I like the West Coast a lot, of my personal preference. So, but no matter where we go, I'm gonna have a lot of fun.